Good morning, Facebook Live. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday to everyone. This is your girl, Pastor Joyce Lynn, passing through. Happy Friday. Yes, it's Friday. It's the end of the week. We have made it. And we thank God. We just want to bless the Lord right now because He has been good unto us. Accident didn't stop us. The enemy didn't take us out. So we just have to give God all the praise. We just have to bless him. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. We bless your name. We bow before you this morning. Oh, God, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy of all our praise. He is worthy. We serve an awesome God. He has kept us. Don't take for granted. A lot of people never wake up this morning. Don't take anything for granted. Don't take anything for granted. You hear me? God has kept you. Don't take anything for granted. He has saved us. He has kept us. He has a plan for our life. It's 2019. It's just like when you buy a new car and you go to the dealer. They have to show you the features of the car and how it works. Some company, they set up an appointment with you and you go in. You go in to, to check out how it's done. People of God, let me tell you this. Good morning, Evangelist Emmanuel. Good morning, Sister Anna K. Let me tell you what happened. When you go to that dealer and they show you how to operate the car. Because it's new. You don't know anything about it because it's a new vehicle. It's the same way you enter into the new year. Not knowing what's going to happen. And God is saying, just hold tight. Follow the scriptures. Follow me. Follow me. And I'll show you the way. The same way they'll teach you about your new car. At the dealership. It's the same way you enter into 2019. Not knowing what's going to happen. Remember. We are the sheep of the pastor. And sheep don't have much sense. A sheep of the pastor. We're supposed to be humble. Look at the sheep in the pastor. Look how they behave. They follow each other. They don't know the way. They're expecting the shepherd to lead them. To guide them. And that's what we are. So we just have to humble ourselves and allow God to lead us. The Bible said the footstep of a good man is ordered by God. When you do good, God order your footsteps. Allow God to order your footsteps. Stop doing things on your own. Stop walking out into the enemy's camp without being prepared. God is waiting on you. You're busy saying that you're waiting on God for, to do something for you. But God is saying he's waiting on you. Listen to that small, still voice of God. Are you ready? We are in the second week of 2019. Today is the 11th. Are you ready for what 2019 has for you? Are you ready? A lot of people, they make plans and they make resolution and they have a bucket list and they have a checklist and they have all kinds of lists. But are you really ready for what 2019 has to offer you? Are you ready to allow God to take the driver's seat? And you take a back seat, the passenger seat, and operate for you? Are you really ready? Because if you step out into this new year without praying first, you're going to get into trouble. Don't, because you will be stepping out of the will of God. Don't try to do anything on your own. Don't. Remember what David did. Everything. That's the only thing. David got away. He had a special relationship with God. Everything David 
was about to do. He asked God first. He prayed. So you are saying that you're waiting on God. And you're trying to do things on your own. Matoboro kosata. Let me tell you something, people of God. Don't do anything on your own. The Bible says, submit your plans to God. All of your plans. And he will establish them. Don't try to do anything on your own. David in India. Don't worry. God is going to surprise you before June 10th. Before the 10th of June, you're going to come back on my page. This page right here. Pastor Joycelyn. You will come back, David, to share your testimony. Because by the 10th of June, write this down. Today is the 11th of January. Bakodolo Boboko Sata. By June. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, Jesus. Mm, by June 10th. God is going to do something in your life. God is going to change the story of your ministry. God is going to change this story. Your ministry will flourish. Whatever the devil said, God already canceled it. Whatever the devil have said, God has canceled it. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. God is getting ready to blow your mind. Don't worry. And like I was saying, don't step out of the will of God to do anything. Whatever you plan, whatever you are doing, make sure you consult God first. Just like when you go to the gym, they said you have to consult your doctor. Because your doctor have your medical report. Your doctor have your history, your files. So your doctor know your capabilities. Because he is going to do a new test on you to make sure that you are able to do those exercises. So let me tell you something, people of God. Trust God. Trust the process. Don't run out in the cold without your jacket. You will get caught up. Don't go fishing without the right tools. God is saying, you are asking, you are waiting on him. But he is waiting on you to humble yourself. To humble yourself. So he could enter into your situation. So he could step into your situation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And he will lift you up in due season. Don't worry. Your ministry will flourish, my brother. It is well. Your name is David. And like I was saying earlier, there is nothing that David did twice. He never do the same thing twice. Every time David sinned, he repented. And when he repented, he never repeated it. That was the story of David. So he had a special relationship with God. And I'm here to tell you today. I'm here to tell you today. God is saying, he's waiting on you. Stop saying that you're waiting on him. He is waiting on you. God loves you so much. He loves you so much. The Bible declared that for God loved us so much. He gave us his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him will never perish. When you believe in God, you won't perish. Whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. God is saying this is 2019. We, we cross over. No, what we're supposed to be doing is moving and living in righteousness and holiness. Because there's a reward. The Bible declares that the secret of the Lord is with them that trust him. When you trust God, there's a secret that he revealed to you. He reveals secret to his people. Just walk right. Holiness and righteousness. This morning I'm here to pray. We're going to thank God. We, he kept us this far. And he kept you and allowed you to see today's message. So don't be selfish with it. Share this with somebody that you know who need a word from God. Because some people are out there and they're complaining that they're waiting for 2019 and this is their year. Yes, it's your year, but you have to do what it takes to make it your year. 
You have to put God in the forefront of the battlefield. Don't go fighting no battles on your own. It's not yours to fight. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. The battle is not yours to fight. It's the Lord's. You said you've been waiting on God to do that thing in your life. You prayed over it. You fast over it. You tell a lot of people about it. But are you really ready? Because God is saying he's waiting on you to shut your mouth and allow him to do a new thing in your life. God is saying it's time for you to sit back, relax, pick up the Bible. Pick up the Bible and swallow the word. Take the word in. Apply the scriptures to your life. There is a reward. There is a secret when you serve God. And it is with them. Hi, Hasley. The secret of the Lord is with them that trust him. Trust him with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. When you lean to your own understanding, means when you do the things that you think is right. But remember, you're waiting on God to do something for you. Don't forget. Allow him to do it. Don't use your own wisdom. The Bible reminds us that as high as the heaven is from the hurt, his ways and his thoughts are higher than yours. There's nothing you can do without God and be successful in this life, especially in this 2019. Whatever you didn't get in 2018, it's here for you. But you have to humble yourself and allow God to give it to you. Allow God to give it to you. Allow God to do it in your life. Paul said we are not ourselves. It is he that has made us. We are his people. We are chosen by him. And if we are here, you are here on my page. It's not by chance. God wants you to hear this today. Stop trying to do things your way. Allow him to do it in your life. People of God, let us humble ourselves. We are breaking through. Yes, this is our breakthrough. 2019, this is our breakthrough. You break through 2018 and you're here in 2019. Now it's time for the supernatural to happen in your life. Allow God to do it. Allow God to do it for you. Stop trying to do it on your own. Allow him. Allow him to enter into your situation. Thank you, Jesus. Allow him to your situation. Allow God to step in the forefront and do a new thing in your life. This is the new year. This is where all the promises are starting. Do it. There is nothing that's impossible with God. Oh, God. He said he will make a way where there seemed to be no way. He will make rivers in your desert. He will put your enemy to shame. The Bible declares that when a man ways please God, even his enemy will be his footstool. Meaning when your ways please God, he will make the impossible be possible in your life. And the reason why he said that, because sometimes it takes our enemies to bless us. But you have to humble yourself and allow your ways to please God in order for your home, your enemies to submit under your feet. In order for your enemies to submit. Because some of us, we have some serious enemies. And we've been trying to do it our way. But God is saying, yes. Oh God, thank you Jesus. Mm. We are here. Evangelist Emmanuel, I'm trying to add you. Because the Lord have a word for you this morning. Hey, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mighty God. Mm. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This morning, I'm here to remind you. Put God in the forefront. You're waiting on God, but he's waiting on you. You are waiting on God, but God is waiting on you to do that new thing in your life so you could prosper, so your family could be blessed, so you could get your breakthrough. Stop trying to do it on your own. The battle is never yours to fight. It was never yours in the beginning. It was never yours from the get-go. 
And therefore, this is why you're postponing your blessing. You're postponing your, your miracles. You're postponing everything that God has for you. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. It is well. This morning, this morning, I'm here to tell you, it is well. It is well. Everything that you didn't get last year, when you obey, obey the voice of God, this year it is yours. It is yours to keep. The battle was never yours to fight. The battle was never yours to fight. Allow God to do a new thing in your life. Allow God to do a new thing in your life. People of God, open your mouth and pray and thank God. And thank Him. And thank Him for the many blessings. Thank Him. You, you're saying that you're waiting on God. But look around you. And look all these things that He has done for you. He didn't fix that one thing. Because He wants you to humble. This is what He's using to humble you. He is using your patience to humble you. And when you humble, it will kill the snake and the eggs that those snakes laid and the residue that's hanging around. Right now, we're going to pray. Because when you humble like this, it kills every snake that's in your life. It destroys every snake and the yoke of the snake that is in your life. It is humbling you. It's humbling you to destroy the snake. God is using your humbleness and your humility to destroy the enemy that's in your life. And the eggs that those snake laid. Mm. Let us pray and thank God. And thank God to destroy every enemy that was surrounding us. Those eyes. Those eyes that are on us. God has kept them away from us. Yes, this is why we are still here. This is why. This is why we are here. To thank God. To thank Him for His goodness and His mercy that has kept us. The special grace that God has given us. Oh God, this morning we say thank you. We bless your name, oh God. We bow before you this morning. And all your people that have gathered this morning to hear a word, oh God. Oh God, this morning we say thank you. A lot of people don't know how powerful that word is. A simply thank you. A simple thank you. This morning, oh God, we surrender all to you. There is nothing that I can do on my own. And I thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing right now. I thank you, Lord God, for the doors that you're about to open for your people to show them that you are still God, to show them that you still move mountain, to show them that you still heal, to show them that you're still doing miracles, to show them that you're still opening doors, to show your people that you still heal. Everyone here this morning that need a miracle, God is getting ready to do it. So be ready for it. On the count of five. Raya tabo ko soto. One. Hey, a rebe bebe ko sata. Two. Ha ma vorobo. Three. Four. At the count of five. Five. Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you this morning for this move, for the supernatural that you are doing, mighty God. Through Facebook, through Facebook. Oh God, we say thank you. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you. We thank you, mighty God, because our faith has made us whole this morning. Oh God, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hey, Rebecca Soto. Thank you, Lord. People are here for healing, divine healing. People are here for healing, divine healing. Oh, God, you say you sent forth your word and it will never return void. It will do what it was set forth to do and it will accomplish what we ask. And this morning, oh, God, we ask for miracle. We ask for healing on the count of five. Mighty God, those that are here that need healing. All you have to do is believe and you will receive. One, two, three, four, five. 
Hallelujah. We take it right now. We take it right now. We take it right now. We take it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, you did it. You have done it. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying there are people here this morning that are not saved. And he remembered the centurion. That man was not saved. But because he believed on the word of God. He prayed daily. And he believed. Oh God. He prayed and he fasted. And God sent forth the, the apostle Peter to his house to bless him and his family. This morning God is saying. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It is your time. Today is your day. Answer to your call. Today is your day. Today is your day. Today is your day. In the name of Jesus, receive it. 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 As the faith of the centurion this morning. Receive it. It is done it is finished in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we say thank you. Mighty God, mighty God of war, land of Judah, this morning we come before you. We are nothing without you, Lord God, this morning we come. You said greater things we shall do than you did when you were walking on earth. And Lord God, this morning, your people are here. Do something new in their life. Do a new thing. David is asking for his ministry to be upgraded. Oh God, David is asking mighty God for his ministry. For a supernatural to be done in his ministry. You are God. And you have called me. And Lord God, this morning I'm asking you to show him, oh God. That we don't serve a dead God. That we serve the true and living God. And this morning, oh God, you will do a new thing. And by June 10th, as you have said, by the 10th of June, he will have his testimony in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare it. Done over your life, over your ministry, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You have done it. You have done it. You have done it. Mighty God. You have done it. Thank you, Jesus. You have done it. It is well. It is well. This morning, I covered this version of breakfast with Jesus. Lord God, your people are here. Mighty God. Let your word, oh God, manifest in your life. You said when we need you, I seek you. Seek you in John 1 verse 1 in the word. Because that's where the word come to life. And this morning, oh God, those that are far from you. Lord God, this morning I ask you in the name of Jesus to pull them closer to you. Oh God, let your servant be more than hard in every servant. Oh God, let your word manifest. Let your word come to life this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Do a new thing. Let it spring forth. Let it spring forth, oh God. You said you sent forth your word. Let them apply the word. This morning we use your word, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Let it be well this morning. You have done it one more time. You have done it one more time. You have done it one more time. Oh God, we say thank you. It will be well with your people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We put you in the forefront this morning. Yes, Lord, you are saying that you are waiting on them and they are complaining that you have not done it. Jesus, Jesus, if you are here this morning and you keep saying that you've been waiting on God, this is for you. This is not for everybody. This is for you who is saying you are waiting on God. Get out of the way so God can do it in your life. Get out of the way so God can do a new thing in you. Get out of the way so God can move on your behalf. Get out of the way. God don't need your help. Get closer to him. That's what you need to do. Stop complaining. Stop procrastinating. 
God is waiting on you. He that has started a good work in you shall surely complete it, shall surely take it to the perfect day of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. You have done it. Your people are here in 2019. And they are looking to you because there is nowhere else to turn. And therefore, Lord God, we say thank you. We say thanks in advance for this thing that's on the way coming. The Bible declared that the secret of the Lord is with them that trust him. But he also tells us he's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Seek the face of God this year more than ever before. And watch the new thing that's about to take place in your life. Your life is about to take off like a rocket. Your business is about to take off. Evangelist Emmanuel, get ready for this new thing that God is getting ready for to do in your life. Your business is about to take off. Evangelist, your business is about to take off like a rocket. Like a rocket is about to take off. God is getting ready to blow your mind because he has been using you and you have been patiently waiting on him. Just watch him move in your life. Just watch him move in your life. Just watch him by February 16th. Watch what's going to happen in your life. Watch by February 16th. Oh God, write this date down by February 16th. God is doing a new thing in you. Ah, Baroko Sata. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Arebeko Sata. You are here this morning and you have a prayer request. And it concerns a miracle that God is, you're expecting God to do in your life. He's going to do it. He's getting ready to do it. Everyone on here this morning is getting your testimony. Oh, Romnia. Rumi Data from India. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, mighty God. Something is going on with my phone. I can't add anybody on my life to pray for them because the phone is acting up. But don't worry, Rumi. Rumi. Rumi that Duta. My God. God is getting ready to blow your mind as well. God is getting ready to set you straight. God is getting ready to set you straight. God is getting ready to fix your business for you. Because you try so many things. And God is saying it's his time now. Step out of the way and let him do it. God is getting ready to set your business straight. God is getting ready to set your business straight. Listen to me people on Facebook. I fear nothing. I fear nothing. I know the God that I serve. I fear nothing. I'm covered under the blood. I'm covered. I just want to I just want to stop in the middle of this prophecy to tell you I am covered under the blood. I fear nothing. I fear no one. David said, "Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil because thou art with me." I'm driving through the valley of the shadow of death. And I'm going fast because I'm not the driver. God is in front of me. He is the navigation system. So I'm here to tell you. No demon that set forth to come and destroy any works of God on this prayer line. Will manifest and function. It will never happen. It will never happen. It will never come to pass. I destroy you and your works in the name of Jesus. Every works of the enemy this morning that was set forth to destroy this has been cancelled and nullified in Jesus name. You will never win Satan. You will never win. You will never win. You are under my foot. Oh God. Matabodoko Sata. Yeah. I just had to stop and cancel some things. D Listen, devil, you will never destroy. You will never destroy the work of God. You will never destroy the work of God on this prayer line. You will never destroy what God is doing. Devil, I'm here to warn you. You will never destroy this. It will never happen. 
Matawa Roboko Sata. Devil will never buy your Toboko Soto. Let me tell you something, people. Don't allow the devil to use you. Don't avail yourself for the devil to use you. This is why a lot of people will not get through, will not get their prophecy, will not get their, 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 their prophecy come to pass. Why? Because they are allowing the devil to enter them before they come on Facebook Live. Be careful which man of God or woman of God Page you enter with your foolishness. God will destroy you. God will destroy you for his people. You cannot play with God. You cannot come on this and play with God. God will destroy you. Remember what he did with the children of Israel when they were complaining. You see how many Egyptian God destroy for his children? Be careful when you come on Facebook Live and a man or a woman of God page with your rubbish. God will deal with your wicked. God play rough. God play rough. The devil is a liar. And it's one more time been to be known. The devil, you are a liar. The blood of Jesus is against you. Don't let me do a fasting for you, devil. Don't let me do a fasting for you. Know who to play with. You cannot play with God's people. You cannot play with God's people. My And I'm done with you, devil. You will not get any more time. You will not get any more, get any more attention. Yes, people of God. This is what you do. You nip it in the butt right away. When it, anytime the devil manifests himself. When God is speaking and the devil manifests himself. You have to nip it in the butt right away. Don't let it slide. Because some people have been anointed to destroy ministry. Some people have been anointed to destroy God's people. The devil has anointed some people. The devil has anointed some people to come on here to destroy ministry. But this is one of the ministry devil you will never get away with. You will never get away with. You are finished. You are finished in the name of Jesus. Hey, God is a jealous God. Remember God is a jealous God. Remember God is a jealous God. Don't come on here with your foolishness. This is not the place and now is not the time. This is not the place and now is not the time. Devil, listen to me. I remember when I was in sin. But no, your reign of terror is over in my life. You have no place around here. People of God, give a thumbs up. If you know who God is. People of God give a thumbs up. If you know that God really love you. And you are here to worship God with me. And you are here to make a declaration over your life. For 2019. For God to do the supernatural. People of God. Hey, Soto. Send up the hearts and the thumbs up. Because you know who you know you. You, you know that you know that God know that he knows that you are his child. Because the devil has anointed some people and they are mad. But listen to me, devil. I'm here to tell you, stay mad. Because if you don't repent, if you don't repent, watch what God is going to do to you. This would be the last man of God or woman of God page you enter. I am the last woman of God page you're going to enter with your rubbish. Because guess what? Everything that God said was going to happen to you, it's going to happen today. There is a reward for people who go around trying to destroy ministry. There is a God have a reward for you. Be careful. You have until the next 45 minutes to repent or watch what's going to happen. Watch what's going to happen. I don't serve a dead God. God have sent me here to deal with his people. To bless his people. Not to curse his people. To be a blessing to his people. And that's what I will do. So if you are here and you're on the Lord's side. You can send up your praise. You can send a thumbs up. You can send up your amen. You can send up your heart. Because God is with you. You know who you are. You know who you are. I'm suffering woman of God. Talk upon my life. God is getting ready to do you good. God is getting ready to do you good. And don't worry. 
stay close to God and he will stay close to you. God is getting ready to do you good. Rumi in India. God is getting ready to do you good. You will come back on my page to testify. Don't worry about what the devil is doing. It's done. Today it's done. It's cancelled. Hey, hey, hey. Listen to me. It is over. It is finished. There is nothing anymore. That's negative that will happen. It is done because you're under today's anointing. Because you're under the unction right now. God is getting ready to do you good. God is getting ready to do you good. God is getting ready to blow your mind. Five things God is going to do in your life. Five. Rumi, data in India. Today, God is going to do five things in your life. Five. Number one, your health. You're going to have divine health. Number two, your finance will increase. Number three, your business will flourish. You tried so many things, but go back. Your business, your business, number three. Number four, your personal life. In your personal life, you're losing a lot of things. It will stop. And number five, your love life, your marital life will change. You, your marital life will change. Don't worry. The hand of the Lord is upon you. And this is why the devil is fighting you. But today, because I'm here in the spirit, because I'm here, I am the because the devil made mistake and sent me to another dimension. It is well with you. Go in peace. Go in peace. Go in peace. Those five things will happen. You will come back and testify. Go in peace. Thank you, Jesus. Go in peace. Go in peace. Go in peace. Go in the peace of God. Let the peace of the Lord that passes all understanding. God, your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. Hey, Rebecca Sata, let me tell you something, people of God. When you have dangerous testimony, when you've been through what I've been through, and they never try you on Facebook Live, you will get mad because I know what it is like to mess with people. The devil had me for years in every way of my life. And God have changed the story. So let me tell you something. Devil, back it up. Back it up. This is the wrong place. Now is the wrong time. You mess with the wrong one. Mighty God. Mighty God. Don't worry, Rumi. It is well. It is well with you. Hey, I feel heat coming out of you right now. I feel heat. I feel the fire of the Lord. People of God, join hands with me. Ayata, there is no distance in prayer. Come in agreement with me and let's pray, pray for Rumi Dutta in India right now. In the, Father, in the name of Jesus, your people have gathered. 23 of them are here, Lord God, including Rumi. And today, oh God, each and every word that was spoken over Rumi's life. Every word, oh God, it's a declaration. We decree and we declare it done right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Yarebe Kosata. Hey, I see things overturning for your sake. I see things overturning for your sake. I see things overturning on your behalf. Ah, God has changed your story. Thank you, Jesus. Matoboro Kosoto. Good morning, Patrice. Yvette. Matalababa Kosata. Good morning, Donald. Good morning, Vefa. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning, Chanel. Jesus. Good morning, Sadie. Go, Arebe Kosata. Agnes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just here to tell you. It may be afternoon in some places. It may be nighttime. But I'm here to tell you. God is doing something new. It is well. It is well. Matabo, yes, I know, because I see some things overturning in your house. I see a container, like a yellow plastic container in your house, and it overturned. Oh, God has done something in your life, in your house, right now, in Jesus' name. Rumi, I said I see a container, a plastic container, a big plastic container overturned. 
Whatever was in it, God has destroyed it. Whatever was in that container in your house, it's a plastic container. Whatever was in that container, God has overturned it. Because it had dirty clothes in it. Jesus. Hey, ya rebe kosoto. Matawe andarababa kosata. Hey, ya rababa kosoto. Ya rebebe kosoto. Akandalaba ya nderebe kosata. People have got up in the mouth and pray. Whatever you expect from God. Open, I don't know what you're expecting from God. You have your own prayer request in your heart. Some of them are too deep to talk about. But just open them out and talk to God. Draw from this well that is in front of you right now. Hey, Arebe Momoko Soto. I pray for everyone that's here this morning that expecting to have children. I pray for your womb to open. I pray for your seed. I pray for your seed if you're a man. I pray for your seed. If you're a man and you're here and you never have a child and you have never received good, that good news right now, I pray for your sperm count right now in Jesus' name. Yes, I'm saying it because some people are struggling. Um, I see God doing something new. I see God entering some men their back. If you are a man and you're here this morning and you're desiring to get children, rest your hand on the lower part of your back and let God touch you this morning and let God touch you. Let God do something this morning. I'm here this morning with the Holy Spirit to perform surgery. Hey, ratodo bobo kosoto, matabayandebe kosata. If you are here and you're desiring this in your life, God is doing it. God is doing it. He said, seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open. Call and he will answer. Mighty God. He has heard your cry. Mighty God. Hey. Mm. If oh yeah. If oh I can't pronounce that name. Efoyat. Efoyata. Mm. God will do something new in your life, my dear. God will do something new in your life. Desalen. Yeah. Desalen. God will do something in your life. Just allow God to do it. Just stay on your fasting and keep reading Psalms 95. Oh God, keep reading Psalms 95. It's hard to, it's hard to meditate. That particular scripture is very hard to meditate, but continue reading Psalms 95. The Lord is saying, read Psalms 95. Whatever God has for you, he will give it to you. Mabarebebe kosoto. You're asking God. You've been asking God for a long time. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. God is going to do it for you, my dear. God is going to do it for you. Yes, God is going to do it for you. If he can tell you right here. Hey, Jesus. Mama na mama kasato. Psalms 95 goes, to the, goes like this. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is great and great, the king above all gods. This is for you. Read Psalms 95. Read, meditate on Psalms 95 for seven days. Mighty God, and watch what God will do for you. There is nothing too hard for God. And remember when Mary and Jesus was at the wedding, Mary told them, whatever he said to do, do it. Hello, God, to do Pray for me and my son, Chanel. Pray for you and your son. Mighty God. Pray for you and your son. Mm, mighty God. You and your son. The Lord is saying you need to pray for your son. The Lord is saying you need, you need to pray for your son and he will bless you. Sometimes God, the Bible says, what is foolishness to man is wisdom to God. God said he used foolishness to confuse wise. 
Chanel, Chanel, what God is saying right now is to pray for your son and he will do a new thing. But Desalen, Efoita, Efoita, Desalen. God will do a new thing in your life. There is nothing too hard for God to do. It is well. It is well. It is well. Thank you, Jesus. Yvette, God is saying that he's getting ready to change your 